Welcome back. This video is a direct follow-up to my flea market video, which if you haven't seen yet, I'll link up above here if you want to check that out. I know at the end of that video, I left you with a bit of a cliffhanger saying in the next one, we will take a look at the red suitcase to see what Lego pieces are inside there. And you're in luck because that video is this video. So let's take a look. Here we are, the moment of truth. When I was at the flea market, I saw about what you saw. I opened this up like this. I kind of rooted around a little bit to see what was in there. I saw there's a base plate under here and I could tell that the pieces were mainly Lego pieces. And that's about as much as I know. So I saved all of this for you right now and for me. So we're gonna be doing this together. I'm gonna to take this bag back out of here again, which again, this bag does not wanna come out of here. So there's the bag. Here is the base plate. Pretty decent size one. Fairly clean too, although I am gonna be cleaning all these pieces. I figured we'd at least get it out of the way now. So there's the end of the suitcase, nothing else inside there. And I'm wondering what the value of this is. Does anyone have any information on this? This says 1985, it looks like. I don't know if you can see it right there. 1985. Lego group. Now we'll get into what you guys have been waiting for. Let's just rip right into this. I'm not going to keep this bag. And we're just going to tip it over as pieces go everywhere. And there's more. Okay, that is everything. Plus this piece which fell on the floor. See if I can get it all into the frame here and we can take a closer look at what's inside here. I am seeing some pretty decent filth here. Take a look at this. Pretty disgusting. So there's gonna be some cleaning that needs done. But you know, the thing is with Lego, you can pretty much clean anything up. Um, see if there's any non-Lego stuff in here. There's a lot of newer pieces too, because I know back in the day, the sand, I think, what is this called, sand green? I can't remember what this color is called. You guys are probably yelling at me right now, but I know this color didn't exist back in the day. So there's there's some newer sets in here. And that's one of the things I like to always try to look for when I pick up hauls like this, like whether it's a yard sale, find, or whatever it may be. I wanna see if there's anything in here that could be a set. There's an engine piece. This looks pretty dirty too. I'm starting to wonder how dirty is this stuff that I got. But regardless, there's gotta be something in here that's decent. I'm seeing some rust here at the bottom of that, so that must have been outside. I don't think this is even a Lego piece. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'll probably go through this just like I usually do and kind of see what's what. Here's some older stuff. Some nice wheels and things in here. The web. Some castle-like pieces. Again, there's parts of what looks to be a boat in here. Got some windshields. That's a piece that I don't have. I noticed this when I was picking it up. I noticed some doors and things in here. Ooh, that's an older piece there too. Lots of plates. Okay, that's a modern piece. Do not have that in my collection, I can tell you that. So we also have some of these neon green pieces too, which I know are newer pieces. There's a good mix in here, it seems. A lot of older stuff, there's some newer stuff. I used to have wheels like this back in the day from some space sets that I had. Again, these are kind of rusted out, so you can tell these are kind of, kind of older pieces, unfortunately, but you know, when you're paying $20. I mean, I, I think maybe that was a little expensive for what I'm getting here. I'm sorry about the focus. I'm trying to film this with my iPhone because I'm having issues with my regular camera. This looks like a piece off a helicopter. Let's see, plate, plate. Oh, I have this piece. This is from, oh, I can't remember the theme, but I, I had this set and I know these are the wheels that go with it. Do we, ha do we have all the wheels in here? I wonder. This is off of a forklift. Here's something, Lego racers. Is this Lego? Someone will have to answer that for me. I've never seen this piece before. It doesn't seem to be Lego quality. I don't think it is. Anybody know what set that's from? I don't think that's Lego. We got some more dirty pieces in here too. This is supposed to be gray. It's kind of yellowed. Another one of these helicopter-like pieces. Got a couple of those. That's what it reminds me of at least, or maybe like a some type of piece off a water plane or something like that. If you recognize anything from any sets, let me know. These are always nice to have. I remember having these back in the day, you'd build cars off these. So you put, you know, you put the wheels on the front like that. Very cool to have that. Anybody know what this is from? That's not a Lego piece there. That's definitely a knockoff. We'll take that out. 
That is a piece that I don't have in my collection currently. This looks like a piece from a game or something. Is this Lego compatible? No, not even compatible. Check this piece out. That's kind of interesting. Don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but it looks really cool. Again, I just see tons of plates in here like crazy. There's a couple plain pieces. Don't have that in my collection either. We've got, we've got two of these. Both look like they're pretty old because you can see they're kind of yellowed or just kind of dirty in general. Here's some type of spider. I don't know if that's a Lego piece or not. It has a cross on it. I don't know. You'll have to tell me if that's an official Lego piece. Some of this stuff is really old. There's a, some Technic pieces, more non-Lego. Look at the filth on that. I don't think that's going back into the collection. Again, with the older pieces. Got some more non-Lego. Put that in the pile. These pieces I know are vintage because I had these as a kid. Like this, this piece here I had, and that has to be from the late 80s. This is an older piece. Old school windows. I remember having these as a kid. Got the blue shutters on there. That's awesome. I actually really enjoy just digging through this to see what's all in here. I had to look at this piece for a second here. I, that is Lego. I wasn't sure if it was or not. I don't know, just a lot of stuff here. You have to tell me, what do you think about all of this for $20? Did I get a good deal? I mean, that's not even all of it. Some of the stuff I've been putting over here. But for 20 bucks, for all of that, plus this case, which I think if I cleaned up a little bit, they can make this nice. I might use this for my son. He might enjoy putting some Lego pieces in there. In fact, I might just donate this entire collection to him so he has something to play with. And these are kind of just basic pieces, a lot of them. I don't think there's anything here that's just absolutely crazy valuable or, or worth something. He'll probably have fun with this one, just making some planes or something out of it. And of course there are other, like there's wings in here. I don't know if there's two wings or not, but he might be able to do something with it. And I can obviously help him. He's only two years old, so. We'll, uh, we'll play around with this. Let me know your thoughts on this. 20 bucks. Was it a good deal with the case? Did I get ripped off in this? I, I want to say it was a good deal because if you go to any store and you pick up a $20 Lego set, I don't think you're going to find this many pieces. Uh, I, I don't know the, the count. Give me an estimate on how many you think's in here, but I, I think it's, it's a good deal for 20 bucks with the case. And I'm happy to add this to my collection. I have a lot of vintage pieces and this will, this will kind of just add to that. But Again, for the most part, it's just going to be my son having fun with this, and I'll probably get some footage for you of him playing with it, and we'll see what we can build using all this fun stuff. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was worth the wait from the last video to see what's in here. If you liked the video, give me a thumb up. If you want to see more videos like this and a lot of other LEGO videos in the future, make sure you subscribe. I thank you for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.